nestled between olive groves, vineyards, the mountains and the sea, we've got the bargain of the century. Just wait, just wait while you see this place. Good morning from the beautiful town of Orzonia, a new place that, uh, that we're now working in and what a fantastic place it is. There's always the chitter chatter of people in bars and there's a number of bars in this place. I know I always talk about my bars, but uh, oh, a church bell. I know some people think that I must time it perfectly for these church bells. I really don't. It just happens. <laughs> anyway, Orzonia, what a great place this is. This is somewhere that uh, hopefully we're going to have a, a few properties uh, in these areas over the, over the coming weeks and months. Has a population of about 4,000 people. And by the looks of it, it has a bar for each one of them. It's a great, it's a great town. It's 20 minutes to the coast, to the beautiful town of uh, Ortona. And you're about 40 minutes into the mountains. Don't know if you can see them in the background between the buildings. And today we're gonna look at a superb place. And I mean a superb place. You need to watch all of this video, folks, because this is, this is possibly the bargain of the century. One of the few times where I'm, uh, when I'm speechless. I'm going to try walking in the middle of the road and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I really like these tree-lined streets down here. This is uh, typical of Ozonia, that uh, beautiful trees in the middle of town and you're amongst vineyards, olive groves. It's really famous for some of the cantinas. Uh, winemaking, uh, they've won so many, so many awards and actually classed as some of the best cantinas in Italy. Uh, so not just the best in Abruzzo, but the best in Italy. That's quite a big thing to say. Public transport, there's plenty of it. There's no train station here, but the buses pass quite regular uh, into towns, local towns such as Casoli, Guardia Grel, but also to Pescara, Chieti. It's a great place. There are, I'd say, a number of bars. Just where I'm stood now, there's one, one here, two, three, four where I've just started, post office there, five, and there's another two further down here. Pharmacist here, there's a bit of everything. I say 4,000 people, you get, that, uh, you get that vibe as well. So as I say, we're going to see a property that's just a few kilometers out of here, literally two or three kilometers. Takes no time at all in the car to get there. And it's just a superb place. So I just thought we'd come and show you a little bit of the, uh, of the town before we head off down there. I was hoping to get some sun today, but uh, the forecast is saying that we're now moving into autumn, which is about time to be fair, because uh, it's been extremely warm, unusually warm for this time of year. I mean, the weather's always great anyway, but uh, warmer than usual. And here there is also a theatre, which is uh, good to see. This is also the council. Council building and a theatre together. They do have a, a number of things going off here. This is uh, November, December, and, uh, and Feb well, January and February. So it's obviously a, a good working theatre. I'd like to have a look inside there actually, but maybe I might try after. So, I say great place. Everything you need, close to the coast and close to the mountains as well. So that's Orzonia, or a little sneak preview. I say we will be featuring this 
this uh, more over the coming weeks and months because we've got some uh, some great properties coming up in uh, in this area so now we're gonna head off in the car you could probably walk to to this house to be fair it probably may take half an hour or so but uh, I would say you could probably walk to the property but we're gonna go in the car it takes about three minutes probably in the car so it's detached um, with some outbuildings and a garden the bargain of the century it's got to be I mean 69,000 euros is just ridiculous okay so that's your fly through Orzonia the clouds are coming over so I'm gonna finish off my cappuccino we'll see you at the house before we get out to the house I just wanted to stop the car here this is just on the outskirts of Orzonia and this is what I was saying before about the the tree lined streets and things like that it's a beautiful little pine pine tree area and it's uh, it's just nice to have a, a walk along here and a really nice atmosphere here and I want to show you the views so you can see from the house that we're going to see you can see the sea but I just want to show you how close we are as well to the mountains and things the wind is getting up a little bit because uh, I mentioned a few times on this video we're actually moving into autumn I think now but but just look at the views and look at the position here How incredible is that so local towns close by I don't know you probably won't be able to see but just under here is Guardia Grell so Guardia Grell is a brilliant town it's about 15 minutes from here and I live Palombaro which is I live at the foot of these mountains here but what a view and then we have other towns close by such as Lanciano. Lanciano is a huge, huge town. Can't quite see it through the trees, but it's in this sort of direction. And then Ortona, as I say, by the coast, you've got the beautiful part of the coastline between Ortona and uh, um, Fossacesia, where the famous Trabocchi are. Just a great location. And look at all the beautiful vineyards all down in the valleys here. Superb. That's the great thing about this property, is you're close to this, this wonderful town with all the services that you need, including public transport. And you're also close to the beach and close to the mountains. Okay, that was a little stop off on the way to the house. Let's go and, uh, let's go and have a look at this amazing place. So we've arrived at the house and just look at this one. This time I didn't do the walk up to the house. I just wanted you to see what's on offer here. Not only have you got the house, but you've got a garage at the end. You've got another huge garage in the garden. And you've also got another property to restore here this is just unbelievable later in the video I am going to walk around the garden show you the the boundaries so I'm just giving you a, a quick preview of the outside for now while we wait for the owner to come <laughs> and open up otherwise this video is not going to be the best one but this place is just fantastic. So we're gonna go straight to looking inside once the lady's here. And then I will uh, I'll show you how, how the garden works. The boundaries, that's the word I was looking for. And everything else that comes with this amazing place. Make sure you watch this one to the very end because it is unbelievable. Okay, so let's have a look inside this one. You know, the more times I come in here, the more time I just think value for money is just, it's mind-blowing. Anyway, here's the uh, 
entrance hall, the usual marble staircase. Looks like it's actually been painted quite uh, recently. And it is habitable. It's basic habitable, it's not been lived in for a while, but it is habitable. We'll talk about the, the central heating uh, shortly. Let's just have a quick look through the property. Original floors. These when they're cleaned up look fantastic. And then you have storage underneath the stairs. It's not a huge property, but it's perfectly formed. Here's the 1970s or 80s wood panelling, all the rage. And before anybody asks, no, it is not hiding anything. This was just the in thing to do. Obviously, lots of people will take, take that down. Again, the floors are great in here. And it's, uh, it's a lighthouse. There's no windows at the back. When I say a lighthouse, I don't mean it's a lighthouse near the sea. You know what I'm getting at, don't you? Anyway, but no, <laughs> this I would use as a, uh, as a lounge. Plenty of light coming through from this window. It's quite early in the morning, so it's uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning, so the sun is quite quite low here. But hopefully, you're getting a good idea of the size of this room. And I would just take this paneling off. Underneath, I'm guessing, looking at the thickness of the walls, there's either stone or possibly brick, because the closer you get to the the coast, you have antique brick as well. There's those lovely polystyrene tiles on the ceiling that I would potentially get rid of as well. But it's all cosmetic. The windows are single glazed, but you've got the inside windows. You've also got the outside. So they are technically double glazed. And you have these, these roll down shutters as well. And then it goes straight out. I mean, what I'd be tempted to do out here, to be honest with you, because you've got a drive at the side, we've got a drive at either side, I think I'd be tempted to use all of this out here as just a huge patio. I think that would work really well. You could maybe even turn some of these into doors if you wanted to. <clears throat> so that's the uh, stood on a leaf. That's the uh, living area, living room. Now this here is the dining room at the moment. But I would be tempted, depending how much space you need, because the kitchen, which you'll see shortly, is in this little extension of the house. I think I'd be tempted to bring the kitchen in here. You don't have to, but it's an option if you prefer a bigger kitchen rather than a galley style kitchen. And there, there's a, a fireplace in the corner as well. Again, great condition. The radiators that you see throughout are all run from a, um, a pellet burner. Pellet, which is really economical, much better than gas. Um, apparently the machine, which I'll see shortly, takes pellets, takes olive nuts, and takes wood. Um, and that will do all your heating. And hot water if, um, in the summertime, rather than putting that machine on, you would uh, use an electric boiler that apparently is inside the bathroom. Okay. So I said, this is dining room at the moment, but could be kitchen diner. And again, great size ceilings. And it's just in such excellent condition. The sun's gone in now. It would do. Now I need the, the brightness because there's no electricity on in the house at the moment. Again, this leads straight out onto this huge space at the front. And that building in front also belongs to the property and the garage and another building that I'll show you shortly. Moving on. So the kitchen at the moment is in this little extension. I say it is a galley, galley kitchen. There's also another entrance in here. And the kitchen is in reasonable condition. Certainly could be used now. Uh, fridge. And freezer obviously at the bottom. And to be fair, to replace a kitchen like this, if you wanted to, wouldn't cost 
very much at all usually around about 2000 if you get them for places like Ikea or something similar it's got the oven down there at the top I'd say it's in, in pretty good condition I'll possibly change some of the, the edging oh, I just want a, a good a good clean up it's actually not too bad a size now you wouldn't be able to take this wall down because this is the side of the house so you'd either have to keep this as if you wanted to move the, the kitchen into this room then I would suggest having maybe a utility room or something like that um, in here washing machine all that kind of thing okay then moving to the bathroom which again good size nice brown tiles <laughs> it's long and narrow but I would probably have a um, I think I would have a shower going this way but that's just me I'm not into baths don't know about anybody else again the suite is I mean it's old it's dated but it's still all fine it can still be used what I like about this place is well there's a window in every every room every corridor So that's the downstairs area. Would you move the kitchen? Would you keep it here? Would you maybe be able to make the bathroom bigger? I don't know. I think I would. I think it. I'd be tempted to have this as utility and move the kitchen into to this room. But you tell me. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Nearly fell down the stairs. That would have been fun on the video get a few extra views okay let's go up the stairs see if we can do this in one take okay it's a really nice open corridor it actually goes up a level again to uh, under roof storage so two bedrooms up here This being the first, these are huge bedrooms. And there'd be no reason why you can't get en suites in here. Or certainly in, uh, certainly in one of them. This is a, a massive, a massive, massive bedroom. I'll show you the views in a second. What I like about this, particular one is it has views to the side of the property as well new road look outside nice views towards the mountains that have got clouds over them at the moment and then you've got views towards this other building that also belongs because the whole building is split in two down down the middle of it and you get this side oh, that's a that could be developed into something else that could be give you extra accommodation fantastic but look how peaceful and this road is going to be there's I have never known cars pass down here I've been here three times now um, they'll just service the the local houses it's not a through road so it's such a, a nice peaceful part of uh, of Orzonia and you're only a few kilometers out of the village which is or the town should I say which is fantastic so this bedroom is a, a great size and has a balcony overlooking your kingdom <laughs> so you've got um, the, the garden area here which I'll go through shortly the, the garden or I may have already done it I, when I do these videos I uh, I usually do outside and then inside so I'm not sure if I've already done it or not that sounds strange doesn't it to say that but <laughs> I don't even know why I'm going through all that with you anyway if I've already shown you garden that you've seen it if not then I'll do that next in the video are you thinking I'm a complete nutcase anyway 
I don't know if you can see down there that that's the sea. That's how close your heart you are to the sea. Great having these little balconies. I say loads of space out here. I'd be really tempted to um, to have a have more of a uh, a patio area in front here, and you could maybe park your car over that side or or to the other side of the of the house. I think as well. And I know people don't like it when I say it, but I think trees, these trees are a little bit too close to the house. I'd be tempted to either thin them out, so at least you get the view in the lower parts. Um, and just keep the, the top parts for shade. I'm not going to say to chop them down because people usually shout at me when I do. Anyway, moving on. Bedroom two. Again. Another huge, huge, be <laughs> enormous bedroom. I think this one would probably be my choice for the main bedroom. And what I'd be tempted to do is have the a bathroom maybe in this corner because the bathroom in the house at the moment is, is down below there. So I'm sure you'll be able to find the pipes easy enough. And again, superb condition. Just little bits of flaky paint probably because it doesn't get aired so if you see any of these little marks then uh, you know what that is but it's in superb condition I hope it's not too dark I got up early this morning because it said that it was going to be really nice and sunny and cloud over later It is massive this uh, this room. Well, they both are to be to be honest. They're both huge rooms. I really hope you're getting the feel for this place because it, it, it's just. Oh, I thought that was going to slam. It's just incredible. I just can't believe the price of this. I really can't. In this location as well. And this room has a balcony as well. Again, overlooking the garden, the garage, and the uh, there's a little storage room as well to the side. What a location! So peaceful, and to be able to see the sea. Is, I hope you can see that on the uh, on the video because it's really clear today, even though the the sun's gone in. Superb. What are you thinking guys? What's going through your head? I know what's going through mine. And I don't think I've said that word yet, have I? But this... This property is just... Somebody's got to snap this up quickly. Because this one will, will definitely go quickly. Absolutely. Fantastic. I'm going to say it. It is stunning. It really is. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll show you the under roof. Let's have a quick look and see what's up there. And I'm going to turn my camera off because it's warning me that it's getting towards overheating. Well, sorry about that. I was going to show you up the stairs, but apparently it's the wrong key that's in the door, so it's not opening. There's nothing that you could do up there. You can't uh, add any extra bedroom space or anything like that. But... Um, uh, it's just good for storage and that kind of thing. Okay, so you've seen the house. Let's go and have a look at the outbuildings and the garden. Back out of the front of the uh, of the property. I know I keep moaning about the weather, but it said it was going to be blue skies today. But there you go. So if the wind is just starting to pick up, we're actually at the 1st of November and it's been well into the 20s, uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Don't know what that is in uh, in Fahrenheit, but uh, they reckon that things are going to start changing a little bit. But these areas don't really get majorly cold anyway. Anyway, that's enough about the, the weather. It has been fantastic. <laughs> so this is a garage, obviously. It is 
not the biggest garage in the world and I'm, you won't be able to get I wouldn't say you could get a, an SUV in here but a little car maybe a little panda or a little, something equivalent to that you would get in there uh, and what I do like about this as well is under this little vineyard and I'm going to go through the boundaries of the garden in a second you've got another little kitchen area you know has a shower in the corner for when you've been working on outside on the garden and it also has a fireplace in there that's a fantastic area imagine that as like a summer kitchen especially if you had all of this that's behind me as part of the uh, as part of the terrace superb the amount of outside space is just unbelievable so while we're talking about outside space before I go down to the other building that belongs which is this one and the garage here let me just uh, talk you through the boundaries as I said this road is a tiny road all you've got here is olive trees and vineyards closest neighbor there so you're not on your own next neighbor just down here another one further down the location is absolutely superb. I don't know if you can see the mountain there, but considering you're 20 minutes to the coast and so close to the mountains as well, brilliant. The house could maybe do with a little paint from uh, from this side. So the boundaries. This is where I'd be tempted to to park. So the boundaries are. This post here and then if you follow the line I don't know if you can see the other post around about there and then there's another post beyond that so it's these olive trees are somebody else's and this I'll show you when I get down there where the where the boundary is but the views are beautiful here uh, the nice valley views but then you've got the sea in the left and Ozonia town is just over this just over or maybe just over this hill then you can see the sea, which I hope that's coming through. So that explains the boundaries here. So there's plenty of room to park cars and things like that this side. Then, let me just tell you the, the boundaries at this side. And we'll have a look at this outbuilding at the same time. So you can clearly see now how this outbuilding has actually been divided up. Because you can see the line. So basically the white the white half belongs to this half, uh, this house and the other one belongs to next door I think but they're great rooms just to have as or the great houses to have I don't know maybe you could have a uh, another bedroom in here or maybe you just use it as storage which it is now you've got another huge building as well to uh, to enjoy as well there but let's do this one first so this one's been used in the past to keep rabbits and things like that. Have a quick look. Obviously it's old inside, it's not been not been done, maybe a little bit dark. Just hit my knee. That's the the current heating system. Now they do say that it works. Uh, it does look quite old, it's got a, a hopper to the side where you pour pellets or whatever it is you're burning. Um, but they are really efficient these systems the chimney is new so you know obviously that would probably need a service to be honest if it doesn't work I would just get or if it's if it's on its way out I would just get a, a, a modern version of these anyway um, may cost you up to about 5,000 euros something like that but you would have an amazing system I said the lady did say it works but we can't we can't guarantee that um, because the, the electric's not on, so we, uh, we don't know for definite. But the fact that all the, the systems are in place and the pipe works in place, I say you just put a modern one there, um, if it doesn't. Excuse my telephone. Not very professional of me, is it? <laughs> then we've got, bearing in mind that this is yours as well. Yours. Well, it is yours, if you're thinking about buying it. Just look how much space there is. Quick look in this one. 
Again, the floor, I'm not going to walk on that. Looks like some boarding's being put in there. This is quite a big room, this. Bet this holds a few stories, this place. And there is actually stairs up to another. It's a low room, low head height room up there, but it's great for storage. What were you doing here? Obviously, make sure everything's safe. And it's actually, I'm actually stood on it now, but I'm not going to go too far in just in case. I know what you're thinking. Go on, Dave. I'd make a great video. I wonder how many views I'd get for that. <laughs> anyway, superb space that could be restored to whatever you want it to be. And then we'll go and have a look at the the last parts of the the buildings. This belongs to this house. I can show you the borders on this side. As we step into the garden, so you can get into the garden from this side and also from the other side, the little the side of the little kitchen. I can't believe the sun's gone in. This place deserves sunshine. You've got, got a little storage room under there. That's my phone again. This is a, a nice flat area. Some water, some sinks out here, and another storage there. You've got loads of storage in this little uh, this little building. And the nice thing is, is your next door neighbours. I mean, you could put something. This is obviously they've just done it just as a uh, maybe as a storage or something like that. But you could easily grow something here just to mask that off a little bit. But the great thing is, is your neighbours have got a vineyard. So you know that things are going to be looked after. Can you hear the church bells in the distance? Always happens, doesn't it, on my video? <laughs> Brilliant. So you've got a fig tree here, you've got two fig trees. And the boundary, I will go down in a second. I can see one of the boundary markers here, but I'll go down. I'll go down from the other side. Let's have a look at these these garages first. So this is a great space, nice and flat. And then we have a huge garage. What would you do with this? Let me see if I get it open first. Maybe should have done that before the video started. Which way does this open? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll turn the video off and then I'll put it back on again. As if by magic, it's open. Look at the size of this. It's enormous. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. Something needs a little bit of attention up there. Looks like a tile slipped or something's. What on earth? What would you do in here? Write in the comments. What would you use this for? Absolutely enormous. This has got to be a good eight meters by five at least. Must be. There's my telephone again. Let me know in the comments, what would you do with that? And there's the property again. As we make our way around the other side. Because if you didn't have enough storage, then you got a bit more. <laughs> Unbelievable. And this is so beautiful. Again, you've got vineyards here. And then you've got the sea. And you've got another another fig tree down there. The sun's going to come out as soon as I finish this video. I know it is. This is another storage room. Runs down a little bit. But it'd be good for wood and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure you can find some use for it. Okay, let's have a look at these boundaries. 
this uh, this side of the of the garden is uh, a little bit it is on a, a little bit of a slope see the house again up there so as I said these olive trees are not part of this property so let me walk over to what is you can see the post here and there was the post then at the top and it goes down I didn't put the right shoes on for this today I suddenly go uh, sliding down the hill and you can see here here's another marker so these have been done by a by a geometer so there'll be another one at this side so you've got all of this area so if you wanted to put some olive trees on here or some vineyards or something like that you've got plenty of room to do that in fact I think this is actually crying out for vineyard or olives and then maybe use the other side as your as your garden absolutely superb it really is you feel like you're I don't know, somewhere very special. Oh, you are, you're in a brood so. There's the sea again, look at all these vineyards. Amazing. So that's this property. And what unbelievable value. You know, cut off just as I was getting all excited. Okay, folks, what do you think of this one? I think it is unbelievable absolutely stunning location and superb property ready for the final thoughts let's do it final thoughts what can I say amazing the winds getting up now so it's gonna be a short final thought just incredible value for money as well as getting this habitable property you got the garage there, huge garage there, and the outbuilding that we've seen before. I just can't believe what you're getting for your money here. I really can't. Ozonia is a brilliant location, close to the coast, yet close to the mountains as well. I don't know what else to say, folks. Just. <laughs> Just don't miss it. I just can't. I, I, I am actually speechless for this price, this location. It is just simply amazing. Okay, before I start going off on one of my usual rants, thanks again for, for all the support that you give me, give us, especially on the channel. Thanks for all your nice comments. It's uh, much appreciated. If you are interested in this one, remember to send an email that's on the description. And also remember to join us every Thursday at 7 p.m. Italian time for our live streams that are streamed on YouTube and Facebook, where we talk about the legalities of buying a property in Italy, amongst many other things. And in my in my, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'll tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I always do. Whatever you do. Whatever's going off in your life. Just do not miss this one.